Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are going to do a simple drawing and we're going to practice using different kinds of lines to tell the story. You know, I always tell you guys, you are storytellers. Artists are storytellers. We use pictures. We don't use words. So we are going to use a curved line. Some just sort of gently, they're not super straight, they're just sort of loosely straight lines. Here we've got a straight line, loopy lines, and what I like to call a freeform line. It's just kind of doing whatever it wants to do. So I'm sitting at my kitchen today looking out the window, and it's a partly cloudy day. It's middle of spring. Trees are really coming into bloom. So I'm going to draw this picture today. I'm going to look outside and draw what I see. So I want to draw some clouds. Now, when we draw clouds, if I were to draw a cloud using a straight line, would that really look soft and fluffy? Mm, not really. I want to try to use this kind of curved line to get the feel of clouds. I can combine curved lines together and there you go. We've got a cloud. Some people, you can call this scallop, like when you add and you put some curved lines together, sort of like half circles together, quarter circles together, you get like a scallop edge. It could look like a mermaid scales, fish scales, or a scallop shell, if you've ever seen one of those at the beach. And now, I want to use this curved line again to make the sun. And I want the sun just peeking out from behind the cloud. And I know it might be hard to see, on your paper right now because I did it with yellow, but I am going to put some orange around it. And there you go. Now I've got my sun. I'll put some rays coming out. I'm, looking, I'm using straight lines here for this to give the idea of rays of the sun. And you know, if you don't have Sharpie markers at home, yeah, that's fine. You can still do this. You can use crayon, you can use colored pencil or you can even just use regular old black and white pencil. I'll add some more rays of the sun down here in a minute. I want to add some more to my picture. Now, I want to draw a tree. Um, now trees, again, trees, when you look outside at a tree, and I hope you'll go outside later and look, they're not like a rectangular box. They kind of you know, they kind of have like that kind of feel, sort of like these lines, just these gently moving straight lines. They're not super straight, like I'm drawing a box. They have some curve and movement to them. So I'm going to draw my tree, and I'll draw some branches, and those of you who might have allergies, you might suffering like me with itchy watery eyes oh it's been bad these days and now I'm gonna just add some more of those just sort of flowing straight lines and look what I'm creating I am creating texture I am trying to show the way this tree feels the rough bumpy texture of the tree bark and just some straight lines, just with a little curve. I'm not really worrying about trying to make them super straight. There's my tree. And, you know, I didn't have a brown, but that's okay. Tree bark sometimes has some gray in it. And now I'm going to use green. I'm going to use two different colors of green to get the effect of leaves on the tree. Because, you know, it's like middle of spring. Some trees are just blooming. Some have already bloomed. And when we look outside, we don't see like solid one color green, we see different shades of green. And I'm gonna use this freeform line because when I look at a tree, I really can't pick out one leaf from another. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use this freeform line to give the feel of leaves on a tree. And I'm gonna let this in and around. And the fun part about a freeform line is there's no right or wrong. You just kind of let your hand wander and do whatever it's going to do. And now I think
pink I'm going to switch up and I'm going to add some light green and that way it looks a little more real. If I had a brown marker I would probably add some brown in my tree too but that's okay. And there's my tree it's looking pretty good so far. Now I need some grass and again I'm going to use two different shades of green because when I look outside, I don't see just one solid color green for the grass. I see different shades. And I don't want to go super straight line. I want to do more of these, like how I drew the tree, because grass moves when the wind blows. So I'm going to use lines like this. I'm just kind of, I don't want to line them up like soldiers, because grass is moving. I'm going to line them up. I don't want to line them up at all. I'm just going to, I'm starting from the bottom and sort of pulling my marker up. And now I'm going to switch and add some light green. Just to give it some dimension. go. All right, we're getting there. Now, I think, hmm, I haven't used my loopy line yet. What could be, what could I use a loopy line to draw? I think I know. Let's see if you can figure out what I'm going to do here. I want to, I want to, oh, okay, I got it. I'm going to use pink. I want a nice soft color. I think I'm going to even do a dotted line for this. What could this be? What could this be? Oh. And let's, see. let's see if you can guess. I'm going to draw a little black body. And uh, maybe I'll use blue. that look like? A little butterfly. Yeah, butterflies don't fly in a straight line. They kind of go every which way. You see them fluttering about. So this little loopy line here gives me the feeling of movement, like a fluttery kind of movement. So let's see where we're at. Well, I haven't used my straight line yet. I think I have a good idea. I'm going to grab my gray marker and this tree looks like it is perfect for, oh, what am I going to draw here? I'm going to draw, this is where I really want my straight lines, I'm going to draw a swing. Swing in my tree. Here we go. And what else? I want to draw some birds in the sky because there's lots of birds lately. I'm going to use, let's see, what color could I use? I really could use any color. Doesn't matter. Maybe I'll use this pale blue again. Okay, maybe there's some blue birds. And I'm going to go back to this line. I'm just going to sort of flip it around. So instead of drawing this way, I'm going to draw instead of drawing around like this, I'm going to make like a V, okay? So I basically put two of those curved lines together, like this. And there is a very easy bird. And I'm going to make little ones off in the distance. Maybe there's some geese coming back home. And now, Whatever else I add, boy, oh boy, I could add flowers. <clears throat> I really like to grow sunflowers, so maybe I'll draw a couple of sunflowers. They have pretty strong stalks because they have a big flower to hold up. And I'll put their leaves on them. 
you can design when you do your drawing you design it any way you want don't feel like oh i have to draw exactly what mrs scorefield did no it's up to you you decide what you want to draw if you want to add a dog or a cat or people or a house whatever you want to do it's all good and big sunflowers These are my favorite flowers to grow because they get so big and if you grow them by your window, you can really see the goldfinches. They love sunflowers. They love to come and eat the seeds later on, you know, late summer when those seeds have formed. Okay. I'm going to color these in and I'm going to add a little yellow, uh, orange to make these pop. And should be good to go. So I can't wait to see what you're going to draw. And if you want to add water to it, maybe there's a pool in your outdoor scene, which by the way, we call a landscape because it's outside. But if you want to draw something inside, you can. It doesn't have to be outside. I'm just an outside kind of person. I don't like staying indoors on nice days. I like being outdoors. And I love this weather. I think I'm going to add a little bit of this white green in the leaves. And I am basically done. So I can't wait to see. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I need a few more rays in the sun. There we go. I'm going to have them coming right down behind the tree. There we go. Ta-da! All right, boys and girls, that's your project for this week. Can't wait to see what yours is going to look like. Have fun!